Hello, Shining Ones. Megus here on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. We're going to be reading from our holy text today. You know, in Song 10 of Zarathustra's Gothas, he says, Now I shall proclaim the word. And this word, he promises if you'll hold this word, you'll have harvatat, which is wholeness and health, and you'll obtain emeritat, which is immortality. It's God life. And he says, you will reach God through Vohumenu, the God mind. My friends, in Song 9, he talks about polished words, words that have been polished in peace and truth. And that's what I'm going to read you today. And I, I want you just to let, let this word wash over you and through you, and you'll feel it just cleansing. You'll feel the dis-ease fall off as the peace enters you. you. As that pure love comes in, the hate, fear, and greed is driven out. When, when you stand in this pure light, this pure word, my friends, the darkness flees. And it feels good. And in our religion, God and good are the exact same thing. So today, give me 15 minutes just to read through this and let it just bring that healing energy of those polished words. Asha says, realize you are from good spirit, made of good spirit, and you will return to good spirit. When you understand this, your vibration, your frequency, it rises and you become a mighty spiritual force creating in the plastic medium of energy. Asha One, I am God's thought. I live in God's idea, perfection. The whole universe vibrates with expectant energy, for God is with child. All throughout the celestial palace, the prospect of ever-expanding good radiates brilliant and bright with joy as the highest principle of good shines the light of observance on the dark waves that is the plastic medium of creation. And in conformity to law, the wise Lord's highest desire is focused into form, young, timeless, and beneficial to all. Asha too, know only good. Know only that original word, that frequency of God good. Be that frequency. Be that God good, that pure love, that pure light. Perceive and understand only the good and let your experience and practice be the same. Be aware at all times of your high standing. Always remember the covenant written on your mind, that God mind is in you and is you. You are a child of the King. Asha three, I have Vohumenu, I have the God mind, I, I have the mind of Christ where God and I, God good and I, the loving Father and I, peace, power, protection, provision are one and there's no separation. My only job is to align with and hold continuously 
the attributes of God, those frequencies of love and life and peace and joy and power and freedom be those attributes. My mind is God. My thoughts are not always God. I pray that my thoughts align with the God mind. I am divine life. I am divine health and sickness and disease dies when it touches me. I am light and the darkness flees before me. I am pure love and hate, fear and greed cannot live in this atmosphere. Asha 4, create, create your world with the original word. These four powers are the mental power concerned with forming our world. Number one, temperance, self-restraint. Do not sin or think error. Don't, don't think the lion illusion. Number two, fortitude, a strength and courage in facing adversity without fear without doubt, without worry. Everything is working out for me. Number three, reason. We must have a reason to believe, otherwise we're just hoping or maybe begging at some deity in the sky. We, we have to have a reason to believe so that our faith has substance. It's a basis, a cause for our belief. And what is it? It's the highest truth that we call Asha. Asha is the perfect creator's perfect idea. What else could come from his perfect mind? That's why we have a reason to believe in the good. And number four, energy. A source of usable power. What is that, that power that we use? It's good. It's God. It's that highest principle of God good. Oh, number five. I love Asha. Five. Believe only the highest truth. And you enter Asha, heaven on earth. As the wise Lord is perfect. So his idea of creation is perfect. This is called Asha, truth. And this idea of truth is the very spirit of God. It is much more than not making a false statement. It is the true vision of God's ideal existence. It is the real above all real. It's creation in perfect order and harmony where nothing occurs at the expense or harm of another. Asha 6, I look inward to Vohomania, that God mind, that Christ mind, and I see truth and I experience soundness of mind. Thoughts make your world, beliefs make your thoughts, reason makes your beliefs, mind reasons. Mind is the reason, know this, then the illusion goes away, belief in only good it is this complete trust that brings out manifestations now real as they already are. How? By means of reason. We have a reason to believe. Resonance. Oh, I love Asha 7. Resonance. I know being grateful will bring more things to be grateful for. I am grateful for life. Feel these as I, as I read them. Feel the life that is in you. I'm grateful for love. I want you to feel that frequency, that energy, that spirit of love. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for friends. I'm grateful for protection. I'm grateful for provision. I'm grateful for peace. 
I'm grateful for joy. I'm grateful for I live in this. I live in God, my good. Asha 8. I will seek first the thought of God. Asha. Perfect perfection and bliss. The perfect creators. Perfect mind. Created a perfect thought. I am that thought. I am perfect spirit. I choose not to be double-minded. I choose to thank God and not the lie. I am perfect spirit. God's child. God's thought. And spirit makes body form. Therefore, my body is perfect. My world is perfect. On a subconscious level, I live in truth and the lie of discord disappears. The spell of separation is broken for in truth, all is good, all is God. Asha 9, I am awakened to who I am. I have shed the illusion of the lower animal. I have let go all error. I refuse to hold the vibrations, feelings, or emotions of the lie. I live only in the vibration of truth. Asha, God's highest idea of good. And my eyes will not see nor ears hear the illusion and the lie. I turn away if I sense bad energy. I turn away and remove myself if others choose bad energy. No one can force bad energy on me. For I am light. For I am light. For I am light. And in light, there is no darkness. This thought, this frequency, this truth that I hold is the key to the kingdom. And this wisdom rules both worlds. Asha 10, I will ask myself a question not concerned with how I want others to perceive me or an image to project, but an honest question looking for an honest answer. What energy am I really? There are two kinds of contraries, ones whose differences are of function, such as hot and cold, high and low, heavy and light, full and empty, which work together in harmony. Then there are contraries of substance which cannot combine, such as good and evil, love and hate, health and sickness, truth and lie, and life and death. For when the truth is told, the lie is exposed for what it is, nothing. And where health is, sickness is not to be found. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. There's no big fight. The light just fills the room and the darkness is gone. So ask yourself, what energy am I really? Am I love or hate? Do I bring peace or discord? Do I hold joy or trouble? Am I fearful and doubting? 
Take an honest look inside. Is your energy good or evil? The energy of the seed of a tree will produce a tree. And the energy of the seed of an animal will produce an animal. The energy of the seed of the good mind will produce good. The energy of the seed of the evil energy will produce evil. So again, ask yourself, what energy am I really? What vibration, feeling, emotion do I hold? That's what will manifest in your world. And that's the consciousness you will take to the next world. So find God, the highest principle of good. Right now, be love. Be peace. Be joy. Today is the day of your salvation. Envelop yourself in God's idea. I am love. I am life. I am peace. I am joy. I am one with God. And evil cannot enter me. Live consciously. Good thoughts. Good words. And good deeds. Asha 11. I will release my own ideas to receive God's ideas. Removing the corruption puts potentialities to their proper use. You must burn out the impurities to find true essence. Purity is a must. If your vessel is mixed with poison, pour it out and fill it with pure substance. It takes a long time to purify a vessel one drop at a time. That, in my opinion, is too much trust in time. Trust God. Pour out your vessel and let God fill it with himself. Ah, beautiful Asha 12. There's nothing for me outside. I've spent too long looking outside of myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and even God, just to find myself ever searching. So I quiet all the many thoughts and ideas and stories, and I go inside, and there, I find that Savior, that Fohumenu, that Jesus, that Seoshant. All I've been looking for is in me. And I realize there is no separation from my good, my God. We are one. And all the truth and happiness I was looking for is here right now. For I am that. I am and now that I know this, it is, good is, God is. Asha 13, this is the statement and teaching with the original word that Zarathustra promises if we'll hold that original word, we'll have wholeness and God life. Good is good, and bad is bad. The original word, the original word, is that all good comes from the Creator, and no evil comes from Him. From this original word is the spiritual world made straight, and the material world brought into order. The original word of false religion is that evil comes from the creator. And in this false idea is all the evil that creatures suffer. Asha 14. I am in. 
I am. I live in God. God is good. God is omnipresent. That means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now. My good is here now. Asha 15. Tell the truth. Giving true witness, a man will be saved. Only think and speak truth to yourself and it will form. Think God's highest idea of truth, Asha, and live. Keep the power of truth in mind and make it your model. Then trust God and let it be because it is. And you'll see it already is. Don't worry or strive to make something happen. Don't try and force it. Just align. Attune yourself to those frequencies of God good, of love, of peace, of kindness, of joy. Asha 16, everyone who is of the truth, hears the truth. When man sins or thinks, speaks or acts in error, it is against his nature for he comes from the good spirit and will return to the good spirit. God put the good mind, the divine spark in all of his creatures, so it has a guide at all times. It's how the seed knows to climb out of the ground and become a plant, how the planets stay their course, and how man will find his way home to Asha, truth. Living in truth is life without enemies. For evil, the lie and illusion is rendered nothing. So go, Ashavan, truth knower, in truth, and enjoy this wonderful life, knowing you are God's thought, living in God's idea, perfection. Asha is Ashem Vahu Vashastema Sti Usta Asti Usta Amai Yatashai Vestai Ashem Yata Ahu Vario Atara Tush Ashachit Hacha Van Gush Das Da Manango, Shatana Man Gush Mazdai, Shartrem Chai Ahurai, Ayim Dre Gubio, Dot Dot Vosterem. Asha is Asha is Asha. We love you. Beautiful Asha, how we love you. How beautiful you are. Bless you and praise you, beautiful Asha. And all good spirit, how we love you. And worship and praise you, loving Father. How good you are to us. Your love is perfect. And we thank you for holding us in your light and your love and your beautiful peace. And Asha is actualized.
and ashes realized heaven on earth the perfect creator's perfect idea the real above all real asha is i love 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 you